HTC have just announced their brand new product, the HTC Vive Pro. And this thing looks like an absolute beast. We're gonna be talking about everything you need to know about the brand new HTC Vive Pro in this video. So make sure to stick around. We're gonna talk about some of the things they haven't even announced yet, such as the price and so much more. So let's, let's get into that intro. <laughs> So the original HTC Vive was one of the best virtual reality headsets in the game. It had one of the best resolutions, had the best technology behind it for tracking and so much more. But now the fact that they've released their brand new pro version, there has been so many changes that will really make this a great, and I mean it, a great VR experience. The second this product comes out on the market, we are gonna try and get our hands on it for an unboxing and a solid review, as well as some gameplay videos over on my other channel, Twiz Gamers. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the light pollution. Now on the previous Vive headset, there was still more light coming through the uh, headset. So you could actually see light from outside. And this isn't that great. If you've ever worn a virtual reality headset, light pollution can actually be so annoying it gives you less immersion and it cuts you out of the place straight away well basically they're saying with this pro version the redesigned face cushion and nose pad block even more light which deepens your sense of presence whilst using the vive pro the face cushion contours to the most face shapes with new cloth lined foam which is very important for this while the nose rests cover any nose shape thanks to a unique flower petal inspired design. So you're gonna be receiving much less light pollution coming into the headset, as well as more comfort, which is always a bonus. I have this issue with my PSVR, and I have to really like, really make sure that the strap on the back of my head's put up high so it presses right against my face, so I receive no light pollution. Another amazing ability with the HTC Vive Pro is the fact that you can expand your horizons as they put it. With the HTC Vive, the original version, you put two base stations which gave out infrared signals of your current location and it gave you a sense so you could actually walk around a room and it knew what size to scale in the virtual world. Well now you can actually put more more of the base stations down so it gives you a more accurate and in-depth version of what what's around your room so you don't smash your te television or your monitors this is really amazing and although it doesn't seem like it it gives so much more accuracy to where you can go and what you can do in the virtual world and this is incredibly helpful and it gives more boundaries to where you can and can't go giving you bigger and more room in some cases or maybe cutting certain places out of your room so you don't walk into any walls now on the old HTC Vive, there was a product that actually allowed you to make it wireless, but it was a big chunky thing in your head, weighing it down, kind of losing the immersion a little bit. But now HTC Vive have worked with Intel to create something called the w YG, Wiggy? I I'm gonna call it Wig Wiggig, Wiggig for now. Wiggig Wireless, which gives you true VR freedom, for the first time, the best virtual reality is available without a cord thanks to Intel's wig, wig, Wiggy. Wig, wig, wigig. Wiggig. I'm going to call it Wiggy. Technology. Experience true freedom and tracking experience. Lose the cables and enjoy true freedom with the most powerful VR system wireless solution. So they're releasing a product which you will have to buy separately and this product is called the Wiggig. The Wiggig. Such a weird name but you know, what it does is truly incredible. You plug it into this device and it will transmit the signals at 60 gigahertz transmission and the Lion battery powered for long hours of VR freedom. So the battery life's nothing you have to be concerned about, but this is truly an incredible feature to be able to have wireless VR. It just adds that little bit of extra more immersion. And honestly, this is a feature we've all been waiting for so you don't trip over those goddamn cables like I've done. Moving on from the main features of the HTC Vive Pro, we're gonna talk more on the actual specs that come with the headset. So 
So HTC has increased the resolution of the dual OLED displays to 2880 by 1600. This is 1400 by 1600 per eye and 615 PPI. A 78% increase from the original 2160 by 1200 and that was 1080 times one, uh, 1200 per eye. So the resolution has increased by 78% which is phenomenal for a HTC Vive headset. I'm so glad they've gone and done this and marketed it as a whole new product. This is truly incredible and I'm so glad they've increased the resolution. It's gonna be so much more immersive and realistic. The result is very noticeable. The only issue is that we're gonna need to see improvements in the field of view so it actually feels like more immersive as you can still see the ring around the outside when you look through it. But it's been improved and however, it's still much better than any current VR headset we've received on the market. Now they have actually moved the sizing dial which chooses how, how close it is to your face and how comfortable it is and tightening it. They've moved it to the left hand side which is so amazing. The previous one was so uncomfortable and just in the wrong place. So this time around they've made it, it feels so much better that it's less heavy and it's even more comfortable than before and everything feels like it should be where it is and that's amazing so glad they've done it and one of the coolest features about this is the fact that they made it a dark navy blue which looks absolutely amazing in my opinion that's one of the main things that i really like about this just really stands out but guys, those are some of the main features of the brand new HTC Vive Pro. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. There's going to be gaming videos over on Twiz Gamers using this headset. We're going to try and get the unboxing and review to you as soon as this product's available to purchase. But guys, thank you so much for watching. We're also going to be making another video talking about their brand new marketplace. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and put your push notifications on. We'd greatly appreciate it. And hopefully we will see, be seeing you again very soon thank you so much for watching peace out